Hey, it's Sheldon Gould with SNN Custom Lawn Care. I uh, just thought I'd give you an update from yesterday's video after we uh, blew out the garden hose and took the mower deck off the John Deere and put the snow blower on the John Deere. Well, I got that uh, height adjusted for the blower and then uh, went to move the lawn mower again and of course the batcher is dead again so we had to use the booster. So I backed it up to the shop, put the charger on it overnight. So. Uh, We'll run over there now and see what uh, if it charged and if it'll start. So uh, we'll head over to the shop now. Thing where at least the truck started. Today's uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Tomorrow's actually Thanksgiving. And uh, my mom is coming out today for Thanksgiving supper. So she should be here not too long. My driveway is covered in mud. And I gotta use four wheel drive to get out. Not a bad day today, both the same temperature as yesterday. Maybe a little cooler, at least no snow. I'll we'll run over and see if this thing charged overnight. I'll try and fire it up. I might just leave the battery charger out on it, but the looks of it, it's gonna have to be pretty much charged every time. I didn't want to wash it quite yet until we were done trying to get her fixed. So we will uh, see if she'll start. Just have to set you down for a second here. <coughs> we'll see if we have any luck. battery isn't holding charge. Ah, it says air. Well, we might have a problem. And it says that it's about, well, it's counting up. That's the percentage that it's charged out. I don't know why it's acting up. Well, we'll have to lift the hood. <coughs> Maybe this batch is just no good. Time for a new one. I guess we'll have to turn the charger back on. Yeah, it says it is at, well, 34% charged and it's been charging all night so something's not right but we'll turn the charger back on if it'll let me oh there she is back on and we'll let her charge again now we got the controls hooked up so we can turn this back and forth Then we got uh, this cable hooked up so we can adjust our chute. But, well, I guess we'll uh, leave this on the charger for a little while longer and see if we have any luck. 
We'll uh, maybe come back out in a couple hours, see what it's at. Uh, still going to do a few things to this before winter. Uh, there's a bra thing that goes on the hood <coughs> along here and along the, in the front here that keeps snow from blowing into the hood, keeps the engine warm. And then I also have to put the snow chains on the rear tires. So that'll be probably a project in the next couple of days. Uh, putting a bra on is easy. Um, trying to get those tire chains on it can be tough. I can get them on and then, you know, you go a couple hundred feet and they fall off. I can never seem to get them on tight enough. But uh, I think we're getting set up anyways. I uh, tried pushing some snow with this. Uh, wouldn't do much because it's too slushy. I was pushing some of that snow bank I pushed up with a skid steer the other day. But it uh, just plugged up because it's just slush. But uh, I don't know. We'll get things up and running yet. But like I said, I think we're going to have to get some batteries. At least for the, the John Deere anyways. I never did attempt to start the the other ride in more of the red one there, the Launchy 440. Uh, I ran out of time by the time I got this put back on and <coughs> I think I got the height set up. Not 100% we'll have to play around with it once we actually get some snow but I had to adjust that rod right there and screw it back so it lifted up. It only lifts up by well, maybe three, three or four inches max on the front. There isn't a lot of clearance on the back anyways, so it can't lift that high. <coughs> when it does lift back, it kind of hits on the bracket down in there, so can't get much higher out of it. But anyways, I think that's it for my video for today, unless I have some more luck with this later on this afternoon. But I thought I'd give everybody a shout and just give them an update after I ended that video yesterday. And I also wanted to wish everybody a uh, happy Thanksgiving. So from uh, my son Wyatt, my wife Jackie, and myself and all the rest of the staff at SNN Custom Lawn Care, I'd like to wish everybody a happy and safe Thanksgiving and have a great day.